How's the Brisbane Dead? So here we are with the Duke and Coke of the Orion pod system. Um, usual packaging, fairly nice box. Um, I don't know what that small print says. The following warning only applies when the product is used with nicotine containing e-liquid. Uh, okay, that's quite quite clever. But that's the that's the one side, and then that. Here's your information, powered by Evolve DNA Go, replay and boost function, variable wattage control, stainless steel construction, uh, 950 milliamp built-in LiPo battery. There's your one Orion DNA Go device, one USB cable, pods not included. Yeah, so this is the, this is the one you get from Vapor DNA. Um, it's got the, just the basic device. Let's open it up. Um, there's all your paraphernalia. Let's just put that to the side somewhere over there. Um, so there's your there's your little kit with with your pod system. There's your scratch and sniff, scratch and check. There's your all your things there. Um, yeah, and this is basically the device. So there's your doesn't come with anything, doesn't come with a pod, anything like that. Uh, there's your USB charging cable. Quite a nice charging cable, uh, I must say. Like a nice braided, nice braided, uh, braided cable. And then you've got your little, little lanyard cable. Um, which I know some people was wondering how it attaches. So you basically get this little rubber band. So, and then you just attach this to the little holy bit there. Stick that through there. Oh, uh, we can somehow just click this off. Sorry, I'm probably off camera. Click this off. Bam. Attach it to there. There we go. And this obviously then attaches to your... Whoops. If I can get it over. Wow. Okay, this thing is... Don't look at tiger! Give me a second. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that then attaches to the yeah. Obviously, you gotta find your find your happy place for it. I'd say probably about there. Yep. And then this obviously then dangles, and then that dangles uh, around the neck. I think I think for like festivals or. You know, places where where you where you might not necessarily have pockets or anything like this, this little lanyard adapter job is perfect. I mean, you just hang it around your neck and away you go. Um, I think it's quite a neat, quite a neat little little addition. Um, you might even be able to use it for your other pods. You know, depending on the size of the pod. I mean, it is a rubber band, so it will it will. Uh, expand or what do you want to call it so that's definitely a pro yeah let's uh whoops what was that oh that's the manuals uh let's quickly go through the manuals uh, pick it up anyway so let's get all this cock out of the way so this is the device obviously it hasn't got a pod in it there's your there's your contacts nice nice and proper contacts um the the feel of it, I'm not sure if this is real ab ab abalone, real abalone, or if it's uh, if it's like a plastic, you know, artificial. I'm not sure. Um, there's your button configuration. It's very easy. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it off. Switches it off. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it. Switches it on. Um, obviously, there's no pot in there. Uh, you've got three settings. You've got your your low, which is this magenta one, and then you get your next one. Oh, obviously it's gonna bitch now because it hasn't got a pod. All right, so let's uh, let's quickly go through the manual. Here's your little user manual, um, device user manual, warranty guide. See, here we go. There's all your mouthpiece, airflow controlling, what what are these? Your dimensions. Just pause it there for you. Pause it and check if you wanna check using two stats and stuff. Type of pod resistances, you got the 0 0.25 and the 0 0.5. How to remove the pod, yeah, you just click it on. Okay, so basically, let me quickly show you. I've got a pod here already. 
So you got your little, you got your little catch here. Let's make sure that's uh, um, there's your contacts, which obviously goes this side. You basically just put it in like sideways, pull this lever and press it, and there we go. You sort it. There's there's your there's your pods. It's got a filling mechanism, a filling port at the top, which definitely is nice, nice, nice metal. You know, you can see they didn't skimp on quality wise. Um, the pod still, I mean, the, this this pod is ah ah. Look at this pod. There's no ways you're gonna. You can probably not see. I wonder if I've got a light somewhere. No, not with. Me. Oh, I do. Wait, hang on. Let's see if you can see the see the coil. Hey, if you can see the coil there, I don't think you'll be able to. Oh, there, there. You see the cotton. There's the coil. Yeah. So, um, I mean, like always, uh, I I try and see how how you can take things apart and whatever. And this this thing is proper press fitted sealed like it's almost like there's there's almost no seams whatsoever anywhere so i couldn't find a way to open this pod which is ugh, which is fine i mean it's it's the pod like they say uh okay let's just quickly go through okay there it shows you how to insert it there's your different there's your filling and refilling um usb port um uh, lock unlock press five times with two seconds to unlock Lock the device, check battery, press fire button two times within one second to check the battery level. And then you see the different colors there. It's like a little light orange, whatever color, 95 to 100. And then 70 to 95 is green, 30 to 70 is yellow, and 15 to 30 is red. And then you're ready. Yeah. And then obviously you've got your different power levels, which is white is low, blue is medium, red is high. So currently it's sitting on... Uh, let me just disable replay. Uh, now it's the replays on. Let's just switch it off. Okay, so white is white is low. You got that blue, bluish, bluish magenta, I don't know color, and then obviously you've got your red, which is your which is your high. Um, uh, airflow twist the airflow control ring. You'll see there's a little ring over there. And you can you can spin that around to your liking. Yeah. There it's on its fullest. On its fullest, uh, you're looking at I don't know if you can hear that. That's quite that's quite eerie for me. I like a more restricted close to lung to mouth. That's halfway. And then obviously if you go right down to the smallest hole well like literally just that little bits open and if you can see that yeah just that little bits open yeah that's uh yeah i'm not gonna do it on the red one are you mad yeah and <coughs> looks it's quite a it's quite a satisfying grab that's a bit too tight for me actually yeah i think that's yeah, that's more my style. So currently it's on the lowest setting, which I think I think it's it's increments of nine nine watts. I think it's nine watts on the lowest, and then eleven or, or fifteen, and then the red is like forty watts, which is insane. So there's your warranty guideline: six months warranty for last five products are valid from the date of purchase. Bloody bloody blah, blah, blah requirements. Bloody blah, blah. Warranty expire no more wear and tear. Uh, conditions not covered. Normal wear and tear. Damage caused by improperly operations. Wow. Okay. English. Uh, Products purchased lower than MSRP and from unauthorized vendor. Accidental damage faults caused by negligent use. Lack of blah blah. Repairs or authorization carried out. Third parties not according. Blah blah blah. From the date of purchase. And last type Evo of USA. Here's your warranty registration card. I presume you fill in this little card. And you send it to them, or I don't know, whatever. Okay, so that covers the manual. I don't know what this is. What's this? Guidance information, the first DNA pod mod. Oh, that's... Oh, uh, this is quite cool. It gives you, like, what's priming, saturate, how to prime. Gives you 
take the, you know it gives you a little uh, a little uh, how to and how to actually uh, break in the coil um, replay mode this is of course this is probably the biggest um, in general each part will last up to 7 to 14 days depending on puff frequency power levels and edge use type we recommend charging the part when flavor and vapor become noticeably weak or oh, changing the pot not charging the pot over time the taste of any cotton week will change as it blah 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 e scrub software you can use the e scrub software replay mode is definitely where the where where this thing shines when it comes to um we recommend that the that device users always use replay to extend lifespan of pots yeah 100 percent. i think that's probably this pod's biggest if not the biggest uh, pro prosy for me is um, it 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 is the replay function. I mean that is absolutely unbelievable. It's really it's it's. I think I think this I can't I can't compliment them more on bringing something out with. If they're gonna sell the goat chip, I think they will. They will probably make more money out of the go chip than they would out of these pods. Cause face it, I mean, okay, let's 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 quickly go through through the uh, proses and the consies. Um, so cons to me um, is the price, especially for us folk here in deepest darkest Africa. Um, I think Sir Vapor's got it at one thousand four hundred, but that's for the kit. So that's not just the device. So it looks like they've they've got one of the only like proper full kits where you get the device, you get three pods, I think. Yeah, you get three pods, you know, like 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 a whole kit story for one four. Now look, it's it's still it's still a bit of bucks. So uh, it might not necessarily be for everyone. I think for the ladies, this little device. I mean, to give you a size comparison. This thing is tiny. This thing is super tiny. I'm trying to see what's my smallest mod I've got. I mean, it's the it's probably this one. So I mean, that's the size of it. Okay, it's considerably smaller. I mean, this thing, chuck it in your purse, hang it around your neck, whatever you want to do. Um, obviously, make sure one, two, three, four, or uh, one, two, three. I think it's one, two, three. Locks it. Yeah. Yeah, now you can't fire it. See, now it's... And then just one, two, three. One, two, three. Now I've fucked it up. One, two, three. Ah, I've actually switched it off for one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can either... I would actually say switch it off because then then, then, you've, then there's absolutely no... No way of it, uh, um, what do you call, uh, accidentally firing in your purse or in your pocket or whatever. But yeah, this is it. Um, I think size-wise, it's definitely, like I said, uh, um, I mean, if I put it against that, that's the size of it, guys. I mean, that's, this thing is tiny, really tiny. Um, so, definitely... The first con to me is the price. It might not necessarily be for everyone, but I think this this probably pertains more to your your more seasoned vapors that need a bit of a stealth device, uh, you know, just to out and about. And you know, if you're going to the to the mall or you're going out a bit, and you don't want to take your whole kit with or whatever, this this thing is this this is proper. Um, I think for new vapors, definitely, it definitely is an option. Um, I think there are cheaper products out there that might give you a similar experience, but with the replay function, I seriously doubt it. Um, I think that's, that's yeah. Um, another con um, that I found is the drip tip is might not necessarily be for everyone. Um, the drip tip to me is fine. I don't, I don't have a problem. It's great that it's got, uh, you know, your different uh, settings um what else edges might be a bit sharp for some um the look of it i mean yes the gold's a bit yeah it's a bit bling bling for me and all and all you know man um uh, it's a bit blingy for me but hey i mean biggest can't be choosers so um the what other cons are there 
Not many cons. Price of the pods, yeah, that might be a con to someone as well. It's 85 Rand a pod. Um, it is self refillable, so you fill with your own juice. Um, uh, I did, th I do think, I think it was Uncle Rob. He, this is actually his one that I acquired off him. Um, I think his first 0 0.5 pod was a dud, or I can't remember if he was lacking in flavor or there was an issue. Um, currently, I'm running Nick Salts in here. Um, oh, now I've got it inside my thing that's into the. Yeah, okay. Um, I've got, uh, I'll tell you now. Ugh, let's just do it. I'm just going to lift this up. Sorry, guys. Whoopsie, there. Drops a few things. I'm just going to bring it back. Okay, happy days. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, so I've got some Nick Salts in here. Um, oh, let's uh, let's quickly talk about the pods. Saying, seeing as we talking about them, you can buy the pods in packs of two. Um, like I said, the the single pod is eighty five. So I don't know what these these are. Obviously, came from Vapor DNA. So you get two pods. You get a a zero point two five and a zero point five. Um, I haven't quite seen how do you actually check. Oh, it actually gives you tells you on the bottom if it's a if it's a zero point this is the zero point two five. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's just open a bit more. Yeah, there you can see it's zero point two five. Um so yeah, you uh, the zero point two five they say is a Nick Salts one, which doesn't make sense to me. I I would presume the zero point five, the lower ohm. Uh, uh, or sorry, the higher ohm pod is the one actually meant for Nick Salts, but apparently it's the other way around. I don't know. Anyway, that's probably a smaller. I uh, I don't know about these things. Anyway, so this is the. These are the ones that you can buy retail. Uh, like I said, this came from Vapor DNA. Um, you've got your two pods in there. Uh, basic information. Uh, it just gives you at the back. It gives you the again. It gives you the nicotine warning. Tells you stainless steel organic cotton coil, um, which I think is also a big pro, is the organic cotton uh, 400 pass per cartridge. It's a 3 mil cartridge, mouth to lung and direct lung adjustable. 0 0.25 ohm vapor pod and 0 0.5 ohm flavor pod. Ah, I don't know what that means. Compatible with three base nicotine injures or nicotine salt. Ah, okay. So both of them are, are um, you can use either or. Um, <clears throat> I haven't tried normal freebase in this. I'll probably try it in my next pod. But um, the Nick Salts that I'm using is this um, exclamation Nick Salts by um, Steam Masters. There's your warning and your ingredients and all those things. Not suitable for you uh, for sub ohm usage, only for low wattages, mouth to lung devices. Very cool. Warning this product contains nicotine, da da da, ingredients, da 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 da. Steammasters.co.za. This to me, and I've tried a few. Um, I've also got the, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, uh, yeah, so the, these are the two uh, ones, uh, Nick Salts that I've got. Top, 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 top juice this i i, I think I, I i can't i can't I, I personally i do not like nick salts to be honest um i've tried a few uh, they all tasted a bit chemical to me um but this this these these two this is this is this is proper i can actually vape this without any issues um okay anyway so let's i'm waffling let's quickly go into the pros i mean the cons yeah like i said there's not many besides the price and that um pros first big pro is the replay function oops let me just go blue red white blue red there we go um i did notice with if you haven't taken a pull obviously it's not going to uh so you just gotta and then you can Bam. There. Replay enabled and away you go. I think that is a massive pro. Um, like I said, I think these guys, if they start selling this chipset or this 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 board, this chip for your for your uh, um, other devices, it'll absolutely blow the market away. I think it's 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 brilliant. Um, you never risk uh, 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 
burning your pod. Um, I'm not going to test it with, I'm not going to dry burn it or anything like that. I think that's just silly. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the biggest pro. Another pro is build quality. This is a solid, solid device. And being stainless steel, uh, not plastic. Yeah, it's got some, some plastic uh, um, things like that's plastic, the pod's plastic, the mouthpiece is plastic. The rest is all stainless and it's and it's proper. I mean you can see there there's your there's your screws that you can you can take off this this part it seems. So you can obviously see the board. Um, it looks like this this part also comes off. Yeah see there's there's the seam. So this can also come off. I'm not sure why, maybe to change the panel or anything like that. But yes, it is disassemblable. Disassemble bill. Fuck, I don't know. Anyway, um, another big pro is the locking mechanism. It's really solid. Really, really solid. There, I've actually locked it now. Um, yeah, so I can't see that this, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a steel, it's a steel uh, clip. So uh, it is a bit flimsy, but... I don't think it's it's gonna wear out anytime soon. Uh, let me just quickly put my pod back. There we go. Locked in place, ready to go. Um, what other pros are there? Um, some might like this this color scheme. I think it is quite nice. It's a bit too blingy for me. Top full with the actual, you know, you don't have funny freaking little gaskets and thingy majiggies and rubber keys and quickie keys that you need lost track and cock so that's that's another big pro is the filling method um, you also got a nice big filling hole so when you when you fill it um whoops wrong one when you fill it uh, um you'll see uh, i mean a like a big nozzle and the nice thing is you've got lots of air that can let me just focus here lots of air that can escape so you never have issues with overfilling or or shit leaking out or whatever and i haven't i've been using this for uh probably about a week and a half now and i have not had there's not a single leak anywhere you can see there's no there's no residue there's no residue on the on the mod itself nowhere maybe okay yes i did there you see there there's a bit but that's because my fingers are full of juice um yeah, there's, I mean, this thing is absolutely solid. Um, uh, portability, definitely a big pro. Um, uh, you can chuck it in your purse, you can wear it around your neck, all of those things. I think it's definitely a big, a big pro. Yeah, so that's my, that's my quick thoughts on the Orion, Lost Vape Orion pod system. How's the Brisbane Jets? Uh, I thought I'd finish up the Ryan review. Uh, just my final thoughts, what I think about it. Um, I've used it extensively now for, a, I'd say, at least a good week and a half, two weeks. Um, really like the device. Uh, yeah, so, um, the what's my final thoughts on the Orion? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. On the Orion, Lost Vape Orion brilliant brilliant little device i really dig it um only time will tell if it you know stands stands the test of time as they say um but yeah i mean brilliant little device i mean for the yeah some might argue for the price it's a bit crazy but look at how many pods you've you've tried and you've bought i mean it's basically it's basically three queues um, and I mean I've gone through two queues in a year where I mean the battery just eventually just dies that's just that's just part of life yeah okay given this one's also gonna die but it's a but it's a quality lipo battery um, 950 milliamps so your charging cycles in between depending on how how much you use it um he's not sorry let me just take down this completely close this up a bit anyway so your so your uh, your charging times in between depending on your use is a bit longer so um and lipos in general actually like being charged so 
Uh, they smoke it. Anyway, so that's my final thoughts. So to summarize pros and cons, uh, biggest pro for me is the replay function. Um, I think if if uh, um, if uh, DNA decides to um, release that go chip, which I presume they they will, um, it's going to be an absolute game changer. I think I think it's I think it's brilliant. Every pod device should have it because there's nothing I hate more than you know putting in a new pod and yeah okay obviously you have to remember to to uh, um, let it sit for a while or whatever but some people you know it's fucking stupid anyway so <laughs> whoa hey he's played here I made it for quarter <laughs> anyway um, yeah so hey man stop it now <laughs> um, yeah so uh, no the guy in front of me is cleaning his windows and his, his, his little nozzle kisses spraying right over the car anyway so um where was I? You see now I completely lost fucking track. Where, 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 where was I? Oh, yeah. Pod devices and burning coils and shit like that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to still try the... I've heard good things about the Just Fit. Um, the Just Fit pod. The little little pen device jobby. That that looks quite nice. I'll, I'll probably pick one up on my next DNA order. Or Vapor DNA order. Um, yeah, guys. And I mean... Uh, like you see i'm i'm trying to do a bit more reviews and try, trying to get more reviews out um uh, uh, it's just uh yeah with with my life and work and everything else it's it gets a bit crazy and you know family first i mean family always comes first so you know i'll i try and get a little gap in between that's why i'm doing this uh, final thoughts in my car because it's the only time I got while sitting in traffic to talk to you motherfuckers so um, yeah we'll uh, see how things go hopefully I can review uh, get a few more um, <clears throat> videos up hey shout out to uh, Vaping Bargain coming to South Africa uh, so wish I could make it but yeah wifey I'm not gonna get a pink slip there um, but uh Definitely, uh, you brews out there in KZN must enjoy it. And uh, good luck, Vaping Bogan. Uh, you're going to need it. Uh, uh, I don't think you've... Uh, well, you've probably drank a lot of beer, but uh, you haven't drank a lot of beer with a bunch of South Africans. <laughs> we are one of the biggest beer drinkers in the world. Trust me on this. <laughs> And meat eaters, you're gonna eat a lot of meat. Hey, and bunny chow, I'm telling you, man. Bunny chow, you going to get the best bunny chow in Durban. So, yeah, you ask must uh, enjoy uh, Sir Vibe's birthday bash, and um, hopefully, I'll uh, see you guys soon with another dingy, diggy, dingy, diggy, diggy review. <laughs> What does he always say? Anyway, whatever. Yeah, that was the Lost Vape Orion by Lost Vape. Vaping Brew.